Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about the working process of do until loop. Okay, so let's go through the program. So here we are writing the code in fully free format, and we have set the control option as no debug IO and SRC STMT. Now on line number 14, I have declared one variable that is count on the basis of that uh, the loop will work or iterate. Okay. So let's see how do until works. So in our previous sessions, uh, we learned about the for loop, do loop. Similarly, we have do until loop. And basically, loop is used to uh, to repeat the line of code or set of code uh, as many of number of time we want to iterate it. Okay. So as per the condition, it will iterate. It uh, iterate the con uh, the condition will get iterated and the values or the block of code get repeated. So let's see how do until works. So here we are using the opcode do until for dou for do until, and here we specify the condition. So here I'm specified the I have specified the condition as count equals to five. So what it means it will iterate this loop until or unless the value become five. Okay. So right now the value is one. So it will check it is not five. So it will display the whatever the thing written inside the loop. Then we are incrementing the value so that it keeps changing. So now this time one plus one equals to two. So it will again came to the line number 20. Then check whether uh, count is five or not. If it is five, then it will um, came out of the loop. Otherwise it will get iterated. And in this condition, one by one, the value get incremented for a count and it it uh, it iterates and display the value of count variable once it become uh, greater than 5 then it will came out of the loop and set a star inlr equals to star on is set so let's compile and see whether we are getting the correct output or not so 1 2 3 4 so after 4 it came outside the loop why because on 5 we have condition like it should work until or unless the value become 5 so to understand it more clearly let's take this program in compile uh, debugging mode so for that i'm compiling my source with source debug view as source now hit the command str dbg f4 then you have to put your program name that is do until loop library name and then you have to set these two option as a star yes which is update production file and opm source level debug so these are the option that we usually keep uh, as a star yes whenever we are taking our program in debugging mode so if you don't know how to take program in debug mode and how to process the, uh, the source in debug mode then you can refer the previous debugging related sessions so once this program came in this display module source, you can take option BR1 for setting the breakpoint on line number one and then press F10. Now we will call this. So now I'm using F10 key to go step by step. So now here we will check by taking F11 on this variable. So it count value is one. So if I press F10, so it came inside the loop. Why? Because it is not equals to five. So it will display the value. And now the count value is incremented by one. So it will again check the value. It is not equal five. So it will work. Okay. Similarly, it will work for three. And this time it become four. So it will display the value. And count is incremented by one. So now count is five. But it equals to five. So condition for, uh, it will not go inside the loop because it uh, it is supposed that it will work only until the count become five. So it will came out of the loop and set the star INLR equals to star on and simply program terminated. Okay. Once debugging is completed, you have to hit this command END DBG. So this is how the do until loop works. So it is also a one way through which we can repeat the number of lines or set of code as many as as many times we want to repeat it and that this is what we expect from the loops so this is also a type of uh, loop uh, similar to like if if we check in previous sessions we have learned about the for loop do and do while loop and this is do do until loop 
so these all uh, works in the same manner just uh, the syntax is different for each other okay so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech